Hello, today we're going to talk about independent and dependent clauses and we're going to discuss complex sentences. Let's start with some review about what an independent clause is. The word independent means confident, free, and not needing to ask other people for help. An independent clause is a clause that does not need help. It can make up a sentence by itself. One independent clause can be a sentence by itself. Remember we talked about Indiana Jones and he is independent. He works at a university, he has his own house, and he uses a tent when he travels. He can take care of himself. So that helps us remember what the word independent means. An independent clause is like Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones um, is a person, a subject, he is an action hero, he can take care of himself. Independent clauses have a subject, they have a verb or an action, and they are complete by themselves. So I think of Indiana Jones, it helps me remember what an independent clause is. So a subject and a verb and a complete thought, that is an independent clause. It's a sentence by itself. Now, let's talk about dependent clauses. The word dependent means someone or something that needs someone else or something else in order to exist or be successful. It's needy. It needs something else. A dependent clause is a clause that cannot exist by itself. It cannot create a sentence by itself. It needs something else. Here's Reliant Ralph. He helps me remember what the word dependent means. So Reliant Ralph doesn't have a job. He just plays video games all day. Reliant Ralph lives at his parents' house. He doesn't take care of himself. Again, he can't take care of himself. He needs his mom and dad. Okay, Just like any child or kid, they are dependent. That means they need their mom or dad to take care of them. So the word dependent means I need something else or someone else. A dependent clause is like Reliant Ralph. A dependent clause has a subject and a verb, but it needs something else to be complete, to be a complete sentence. So when you think of a dependent clause, it is not a sentence by itself. It needs something else. When we create a complex sentence, we use a dependent clause and an independent clause together. Now a dependent clause usually starts with a dependent word like a subordinating conjunction. Notice these sentences. These are examples of complex sentences with dependent clauses. So look at the first part. When Ralph grows up. When is a subordinating conjunction. When Ralph grows up, he should get a job. That is a sentence. It's a complex sentence. Although Indiana Jones is independent, he still wants a girlfriend. Although is a subordinating conjunction. Although Indiana Jones is independent, that's a dependent clause. And then the whole sentence is this. Although Indiana Jones is independent, he still wants a girlfriend. That's a complex sentence. If students study, they will understand dependent clauses. Here's a complex sentence. The first part is a dependent clause, and it has a subordinating conjunction. If, if students study, they will understand dependent clauses. To help me remember some of the most common subordinating conjunctions, I think of awubus. Awubus. That's three A's two W's, a U, two B's, an I, and an S. And it, it is all of these words here. After, although, as, when, while, until, because, before, if, and since. So if you add any of these words, add them in front of an independent clause, it makes a, de a dependent clause. So if you see these words, um, in a sentence, this is probably the start of a dependent clause. 
Again, here we have some examples, and there's a dependent clause at the beginning, then there's an independent clause at the end. He should get a job. That's independent, that's a sentence by itself. When Ralph grows up, that's a dependent clause. It is not a sentence by itself. But if you combine it together with an independent clause, now we have a complex sentence. We have one, two, three complex sentences here. Let's practice. Is it an independent clause or a dependent clause? Look at all of these sentences and choose if it's independent or dependent. Indiana Jones hunts for treasure and artifacts. Because Reliant Ralph is a boy, he needs help from his parents. When Indiana Jones went into the temple, he almost got crushed by a rock. While Indiana Jones lives in his tent, Reliant Ralph lives at his parents' house. Okay? Pause the video for a moment and see if you can decide if it's independent or dependent. Okay, let's review the answers. Indiana Jones hunts for treasure and artifacts. That is an independent clause and it's a sentence by itself. Because Reliant Ralph is a boy, that is a dependent clause and it has a subordinating conjunction. So this first part is dependent and it needs to be connected to an independent clause. He needs help from his parents. So now we connect these two and we have a complex sentence. Because Reliant Ralph is a boy, like a child, he needs help from his parents. The next one is also a dependent clause when Indiana Jones went into the temple. That's a dependent clause. And so it needs to be connected to an independent clause. Notice how there's a comma after the dependent clause. When Indiana Jones went into the temple, he almost got crushed by a rock. Now we have a complex sentence. Here, the last two can also be combined to make a complex sentence. While Indiana Jones lives in his tent, Reliant Ralph lives at his parents' house. Here at the beginning is a dependent clause started by a subordinating conjunction while Indiana Jones lives in his tent. That is not a sentence by itself, but when you connect it to an independent clause, now you have a complex sentence. Okay, let's keep going. Let's try again. Here we have some sentences. Find the independent clauses and find the dependent clauses. Go ahead and pause the video, and then in a moment we'll check our answers. Okay, let's check our answers. Indiana Jones is an adult while Ralph is a child. Here we have an independent clause at the beginning of the sentence and then we have a dependent clause at the end of the sentence. Until Ralph grows up, he will rely on his parents. Now we have a dependent clause at the beginning and an independent clause at the end. Again, all of uh, both of these are complex sentences because they have a dependent clause and an independent clause put together. Next, Indiana Jones can take care of himself if something dangerous happens. Here we have the independent clause in the beginning and then we add a dependent clause if something dangerous happens. If Ralph needs to go somewhere, he must ask his parents for a ride. Here the dependent clause comes first and then the independent clause comes next. Remember, an independent clause plus a dependent clause equals a complex sentence. One more thing before we finish. When we have an independent clause first, we don't need a comma. Notice here, Indiana Jones is an adult while Ralph is a child. There's no need for a comma. So we have independent clause and then dependent clause no need for a comma. But if we start the sentence with a dependent clause, then we need a comma. Until Ralph grows up, comma, he will rely on his parents. And same at the last sentence. If Ralph needs to go somewhere, comma, he must ask his parents for a ride. Okay?
Thanks for listening.